Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. jungler's actually fucking smart. This is probably the best pick he could have picked in this game. I'm gonna sacrifice my lane and go Jax. If I go Irelia, it's very good into this, but like, bro, Talon Kindred is actually good into Irelia. Jax is so good into the rest of them, just not good into Kenan. Okay, not bad. Uh, I should probably just rush boots though. In this matchup, or rushing boots is best. Alright, if he's doing that, I'm tipping. I'm gonna have to use both bots here too. And that is how you play the smash up. Ahead in CS as well, all solo and he has Ignite with Electrocute, it doesn't even matter. So in games like this, by the way, you could do Divine into Hallbreaker into like Xerx and bring Cannon to you the entire game and just fuck him up. I'm trying to fast push here ASAP, I know that Cannon's fucking trying to do the thing and he gets to the wave with it. Oh, never mind, they're all dead actually. Nice. Enemy team's really not griefing by the way. They just lost their entire game. Yeah, he's just tilted and he's doing that basically due to his tilt. He's playing emotional after he gets solo killed there. He's dead. I'll die too, but it's fine. This gold resets talents here too. I knew I would die there if I go for it, but it's completely and utterly fine. TBH! I hate doing this. I'm not going longsword, but whatever. I need the pink in my inventory. Yeah, look at my damage. It's so fucking low. No longsword. You know what's sad, by the way? I have TP advantage on Ganon too. Really, man. Can we maybe not give him a comeback for fucking no reason? Is she Kindred? I haven't seen her. I don't wanna give her this for free. Holy shit! Damn, we're fucking 5 billion head though there with that fucking play. 92 you can TP by the way, and then you have your Warhammer. 8 seconds gold. It's perfect. Always remember that if you're trying to TP, it's 8 little old stats for tryhards. I am scared of fucking gank here by the way. Cringe. Knowing they're there, but at the same time, I mean, like, even if I stay 1v2 here, it would be a little bit risky, but this guy is actually dead now. You're dead. So is the tower, though. I said. No way this kid's just walking up here, by the way. What are you fucking stupid? Did he heal? Oh. Even the trade is terrible for you though. As AD carry walking up like this. Bro, do I go fucking team fight build or do I go split build? I'm still deciding. Just go team fight build. Your pick is literally Thanos against the draft. Or oh, we go Serx second and then I go fucking Spirit Shoshin. Nice, I got that last auto. I get collapsed here if I push one more wave, it's really obvious. Whole map is dark, they can go there. Or I can just back and go straight to them too. That Kindred has literally like some audacity to walk up here by the way after one of them dies. Especially when Talon is bot. Face checking blindly with no vision. Level 9, like you have some audacity to walk up in that scenario, ever. Yeah, I think I tilted this game from last game too. Just get the tower, that's our objective here. Don't 
don't need to go emotional. I just kill that guy. Go back to my scuttle. Big the big bag. Uh, bro, this is the perfect game against Kill in the win lane. I want a pre TP because I don't want Pantheon to just die like a fucking idiot. I'm just here to protect this fucking dumbass. Going for shit play here. We just stun this kid away. Jump back here. Ooh. That's really good. In terms of the team fighting, was really well played too. Nice GG. Zone their backline, come back, kill them, zone backline, jump back, they're just doomed. I'm down to go jungle by the way. Bye bye! I ain't have to flash. GG. You don't wanna fuck with Jack's L1, bro. This is always the path with Jack's early, by the way. Uh, I don't have Ghost, by the way, so... Might be a little bit risky. Look how 5 hit this ward is, too. Uh, predicted. Really? Karen uses Flash Ignite there too? Cringe. Skull is too risky there. I know exactly what pathing we have to take. Blue buff is still too risky too. They can just contest it. Now I can go my blue. I think I just go for a clear to top and then take his entire top side again to be a should be fucking free game. Wolves are too greedy. What I should do here is go for mid gank. After already clearing all of his camps, he has no flash. He's gonna go to his wolves. I could do it to his raptors too, actually. Ah! Why is this kid not farming there, by the way? And what the hell is this not? There we go. Oh, it's at 22. Fuck me. I'm going to get scuttled as well. I don't think this is greedy. I'm pretty sure they're doing dragon here. If I invade his thing, it's a little bit greedy, but I think I can do that too. That cannon is not scared. I'm pretty sure his whole team is here. I don't know why this guy is actually still engaging this. If the cannon is not scared. Ah, bro, what the fuck is wrong with this teammates here? Whatever, I have Divine already too. That's fucking massive for me. I do want this dragon as well, man. Holy shit! Holy shit! I could Herald here just because we can't really Herald anywhere else, even though it's one plate. And I wanna go fucking help them. It's disgusting what's happening around the map. Honestly, it's disgusting what's happening around the map. Our mid lane is useless and our support is a lost sheep. Like, you saw what I did to the Zach early with the pathing. He was just doomed beyond measurement. But he can regank Nautilus and will not learn his lesson. Look at the Zach. What the fuck he's doing? He's actually grief every single time. I gotta go with Sterix this game first. Their comp has 10k fucking burst. After this, I gotta go mid though. I can't farm another camp here. Because the wave's crashing and ah! Uh... Holy shit, bro! Jesus Christ, bro! Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Let's go fucking hoverbot here. Screw the rift ult. 
Yes, come here. You stupid fuck. Get the fuck off my screen. Crazy cringe. Another flash ignite like that. Oh, you see what their Zack does every time? Farms one camp? Oh my god, let me just hover this guy. Is he out of field or what? Like, what the fuck am I looking at? His playstyle is so cringe bad. He's barely even farming anything. Don't get me wrong, jungle shouldn't farm that much, but jungle should also not farm this little. Here we go, good. They get ripped out, they lose fucking base. Is that worth it for them? I don't fucking think so. Look at this kid! Thank god, my team's finally listening. I'm an aggressive fucking jungler here. Like, there you go. One rift total they did. They lost 15 million towers. Well played, guys. I'm sure that was worth it. I don't want to share the gold with him. I can give it to him solo. I'm one of those type of junglers that doesn't really do the shitty, annoying moves for top laners. Honestly, just too bad. Like, what, what are they doing here? Alright, we go for a turn. Sure, you see my calls though? It's like they don't even have a chance, do they? And now we get every objective again. There you go. If you understand macro and the map, like, enemy team just doesn't even have a chance. They don't even know what they're doing, they're just lost. Why are they contesting Dragon when Baron's up? I hate it when I'm the top laner, my jungler goes to Dragon and I'm like, dude, Baron is free. If you do that, enemy team has zero chance of playing the game. Because they will rotate to you and they will all die. You can back off, kill them, flank them, do whatever you want. There's so many plays. I fucking love playing Jack's jungle though, because like... You can level 3 invade, it's literally like Nidalee but AD version. 